My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. I'm going to walk you through some of the monkey knife fight plays for UFC Vegas 40. If you don't know what monkey knife fight is, it is daily fantasy. It's perfectly legal, super easy, a ton of fun. It's an app on your phone or a website. All you need to do is go into these fights, say if you think fighter A will land more or less strikes than the line, and if fighter B will do the same, and then you could triple your money. You can 25 times your money if you want to smash some of those together. It is super easy. It is a ton of fun. We on picks.com slash MKF jump in. They will give you a free $100 deposit match for signing up now. So do it. Take your free hundred dollars. Start playing some of these lines. You don't even have to use your real money. They won't know. Use the free deposit match and go from there. Let's jump into some of these fights. Let's look at some of these strike lines and see what we were going to think, what we're going to do. So Main event, Aspen Lad versus Norma Dumont. Aspen Lad, 135. Norma Dumont, 99. This is a tough strike line. So first of all, if you've watched any of our breakdown videos, you know that I think Norma Dumont is going to win this fight. And I think she's going to win it on her feet, just outpointing an Aspen Lad. I don't know if there's going to be a stoppage here. If there's not a stoppage here, more and more is definitely the play. Definitely the play. It should be a busy, busy fight. Aspen Lad's nuts. Crazy volume. Comes out. Throwing heavy, throwing big. 135 strikes, though, is a lot. But she is so freaking tough and so determined to win that even is it if she's on the wrong side of a technical beating, she will just continue to come forward. So I think more and more is a safe play. Let's do that now. Guys, what I like to do every single week is I have about $100 to play with. If you look now, I actually have 115 in my balance. So I've got a little more than 100 I'm going to play about $100 this week. So we'll do about 10 of these at $10 each, which will get me to 100. And because the odds are so good, because it pays out at two and a half times, three times, five times, we can lose some and it doesn't matter. You lose a few, you win a few, and you're still going to be up money. I'll be net ahead at the end of this. So through $10 on the main event, let's look at Andre Arlovsky versus Carlos Philippe. This is a tricky one. This is also probably more and more because honestly, what I think happens here is Andre Olofsky does his, what he's been doing lately, which is point fighting. He's going to bounce around, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, bounce around, in and out, no real power, not looking for a finish, not engaging in a firefight. And uh, frankly, he doesn't need to. And I think he will win a decision, but that doesn't matter. Who wins doesn't matter for monkey knife fight. So 75 chunks from Carlos Philippe, who has, he's honestly very, very busy. 56 from Andre Lofsky. More and more is probably the play because I don't think there's going to be a finish. Andre Lofsky hasn't finished anybody in forever. Carlos Philippe's not a power guy. So I don't think there's a finish here. I think it's a kickboxing match, 90% boxing, and I think it goes 15 minutes. So let's do $10 on the more and more, 10 to win 25. I will lock that in. And everybody watching, these are my plays. This is my money. I'm doing this right now. So if you disagree, by all means, play the other side. I'm just offering some insight, showing you what I'm doing with my money. This is not a copy me pick for pick type video because I'm not responsible for your money. You are. Uh, this fight was canceled. Jordan Wright, Julian Marquez. Julian Marquez was, I don't know, they said non-COVID medical issue uh, during weigh-ins, which means... He had trouble cutting weight and had all sorts of issues. Uh, Bruno Silva versus Andrew Sanchez. Bruno Silva is a wild ground and, ground and pound guy with a ton of power. 72 to 42. This is a hard line because I actually think Bruno Silva will get a stoppage here. But because of the ground and pound style, there's a lot of strikes that are go into working your way to a stoppage. So he could blow past the 72. 42 for Andrew Sanchez is interesting because he is tough. But 42, I'm not going to touch this. We don't need to play every single one, guys. Smart money wins money. Safe money is smart money. Let's take a look at Jim Miller, Eric Gonzalez. So Jim Miller, sort of tried and true, grizzled vet with good, clean boxing and phenomenal grappling, mediocre wrestling in the middle. Eric Gonzalez is a striker with power with a really weird style and gaps on the ground. So I bet Jim Miller to win inside the distance, but I only did a little bit on that because I'm not positive that's going to happen. But 61 strikes to 54. You know, I'm going to go less, less here. 
this could very well go the distance and get past that. But Eric Gonzalez, 54 seems high for a guy that just kind of like throws out one kick at a time. He'll take two steps back and then leap forward with a long jab. So I don't necessarily think Eric Gonzalez is going to land a lot of strikes. He's got enough power that if he, you know, if he's landing 45 of those strikes, he could, he could potentially get a stoppage, let alone 54. So I'm thinking less, less here. Jim Miller oh, will get close inside, touch up, work for a takedown. Let's leave this one alone. I th honestly, I think less, less. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. We're just going to do it. And let's hope Jim Miller gets in there, gets a takedown, and submits the dude. I'll win my bet, and I'll win this play on Monkey Knife Fight. So it's not only these straight lines here. We'll take a look at one more, and then we'll dig in a little deeper. Let's take a look at Danny Roberts and Ramazan Amiv. Nope, I don't like this line. We're not going to do it. Ludovic versus Nate. Interesting line. So Nate Landwehr, Nate the Train, wild. Wild. Comes forward, throws absolute wild, 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 wild. Uh, Ludovic Klein, much more controlled, much more technical, much smoother. He should get past the 47. Is Nate's wildness going to get him to 68 before Ludovic ultimately knocks him out? Nate will probably be knocked out. I say so. Let's do 10. I think they'll get past. I think it'll be a pretty wild, crazy fight for round and a half, two rounds before there's a stoppage. And Nate is so busy. He should get past that. Ludovic is so technical. The footwork is so good. He'll move out of the way. Touch, touch, touch. Move, touch, touch, touch. Um, so another tough line. This is what happens when we wait till the end of the week, guys. We do our full card breakdown. We talk about every single one of these lines in those breakdowns. Some weeks we also do sort of a midweek video with Chris who sets these lines, but he's traveling this week. And then we do this final breakdown here with these final lines. The final lines are always the hardest ones because money moves them and they've moved. They've stabilized. Let's take a look at the slates. The slates is really where the money's going to be at this week. We're going to do knockout Kings, knockout Kings. You pick any three fighters on the card, any three. And if one of them wins by KO or TKO, you can win 25% net profit. If two of them wins, you get two and a half times your money and three, six times your money. You know me. Slow and steady wins the race. I like to grab three. I throw 20, 40 bucks depending on the week. But I only, I'm only looking for one knockout here. So let's scroll our way down and see what we've got here. Who we think can win by knockout. Manon for sure. Ludovic for sure. Bagarai can definitely win by knockout. And it's also, it's knockout or TKO and Bruno Silva. We're good here. I'm, I'm very confident in this. Honestly, I'm not going to do two because I'm a slow and steady wins the race kind of guy, but I'll put, let's put 50 bucks on it. We'll max this one out. I'm going to put $50 on this one. I'm very confident that one of these three people are going to win by knockout. One of these three will get that done. And what we can do is lock that in. And then if you want to play knockout Kings again, let's go back to it. Slates all day. Knockout Kings. We could play it again if you'd like. And if you if you want, you could even narrow that down between main card, preliminary card, and stuff like that. The last thing we'll do here is one of my favorites. Well, two things we'll do because I love a good rapid fire. What rapid fire does is it takes different fighters from different fights. And the line doesn't, well, the line always matters, but I don't need Aspen Lad to land more or less than her line. In this, I just need to know if I think Aspen Ladd will land more or less than Norma Dumont. And then the same with Bagarai and Carnalozzi. So I think Norma Dumont, I mean, she's getting 36 and a half. So Aspen Ladd would have to land 36 and a half more than Norma Dumont. No way. No way. I think it's relatively close strike line. 36 and a half is a lot of strikes to get past. So I'm definitely picking Norma here. The next is Bagarai versus Ariane Car Carnalosi. We're going to do Carnalosi because I think Bagarai or Batgarel, I think he's going to win by knockout. Um, so I'm going to go with Carnalosi here. That should be a standing only fight uh, that she could get boring against the clinch, but li like literally he only has a half a strike differential. Um, and he's not exactly a high volume guy, ton of power, but not really high volume. Guy. So I'm confident in this. 
We'll do 10. And what's nice is this is 10 to win 30. We'll lock that in. And then the last one we will do here is we'll take a look at it, actually, because if I don't like the line, I'm not doing it. Uh, I like the three for threes because the three for threes, you win five times your money. There's two of them here. So let's take a look. Aspen Ladd, her line, Norma, her line, Dana, his line. Let's look at the next option. Ariane, Manon, and Carlos. Okay. 94, 79, 75. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So let's do this. Let's back out. Check the main card, three for three. See if we'll get some better lines here. We have Carlos, Julian, eh, that fight's canceled. And then we have Aspen, Norma, and Manon again. Don't love it. Let's take a look at the prelim card, see if that will help us out. And it's all about no reason to force any lines here. So we have Ramazan, Nate, and Estella. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll triple this more. I'm pretty comfortable in this. We'll do 10 to win. Eh. These mid, like these high 60, mid 60 lines are always super tough. I think Estella Nunez, she's on the other side of that Carnalozzi fight. Should be a busy fight. Kickboxing fight should be pretty busy. She's a phenomenal kickboxer. So I think I'm good there. Nate Landwehr, we did more already. He's going to come in like bat out of hell. I, I, I think he'll get over 68 and a half. That is a lot, but he's so crazy. I think he can get there. And then we have Ramazan Ameev. He's a wrestler and a kickboxer. So. He should be able to get past this strike line with his wrestling and or his kickboxing. A few takedowns, he'll touch up on top. So I'm good with this. We'll do 10 to win 50. Let's lock that in. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. Even if I miss a bunch of these, 10 to win 50 bucks. I'm in 10, I can win 50. If I hit this one, that makes up for five losses. So either way, we want picks.com slash MKF and grab yourself the promo. It is a $100 deposit match you put in 100 they give you 100 you put in 50 they give you 50 it's easy it is fun and it's all sports i actually part of my balance here is because my brother-in-law gave me a couple football picks for thursday night's game won some money and i'm spending it on fights either way we want picks.com slash mkf join our discord chat with everybody else get their opinions too it's not just me let's work as a community to take all of monkey night fights money i'll see you on saturday for our pre-fight live stream